What is up, World Gamers? Welcome back to World Annexation Part 78, 79, 80. I'll find out when I look back at the previous part. But in the last part, I eliminated, I think it was Indonesia. Or maybe Sri Lanka. It was Sri Lanka, definitely, I think. As there's a bunch of units in Sri Lanka, so it was probably Sri Lanka. And maybe another nation that I don't remember. I'm running out of nations here in the world anyway to take out. But for this part, uh, I'll be taking out probably East Timer, Timer Leste, however you want to call it, and probably one of the Pacific Islands actually, why not? Make more progress in the Pacific. I'm gonna be annexing the Pacific Islands. I don't have any other naval support, air support here. Again, it's very far away from my air units, but I think my air units can make it since they have good fuel, advanced units of course, uh, highly advanced. And I, well, I do have some units inside this transportation ship, and I want to see if I can just make landfall into a Garapon and just take the capital city from there on. And hopefully, I don't lose these units. I've only got like roughly six or seven units loaded up in here. That's about it. And uh, again, there's four garrisons there, but hopefully, I can take those garrisons out since I, these units are very advanced. And uh, that'll be enough ammunition to take the Pacific Islands capital city. And as for East Timer, I've only got 115 units, 115 land units roughly here, just to go towards their capital city of Dili. I've got some naval uh, support, mostly submarines though. And uh, these, uh, what is it? The Frithjof, Frithjof Advanced Naval Destroyer. Got 52 naval units and then some air support here as well. 23 air, air units there on standby. So hopefully, this will be enough to take East Timer since, again, East Timer doesn't have that many units and most of the units consist of obsolete designs like engineers, AMX, as you can see, guys, Scorpion units, uh, what else? T90s. Hey man, the year is 2036, almost about to be 2037 by the way, holy crap, we're about to head into another year in world annexation. <laughs> I started world annexation I think in 2013, is when I started this let's play probably, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, in real life, I guess 4-5 to five years, in game, already about to be 17 years since the game starts in 2020 you know it's about to be 2037 so holy crap 17 years in the world annexation save i really gotta make more progress and take these nations out but again these islands not a problem i could take them out easily if i just build a bunch of air units and naval units i just bombard them and then i just make landfall evasion with just a single unit basically so i can take all these island nations out easily even Cuba. Cuba's broke. Don't need to worry about them. Dominican Republic broke. Uh, even Madagascar as well. Problem is Australia, which is rich actually, and they're already mass producing units, which I could never do with Australia, but it's the future. New Zealand, same thing. They've massively produced a bunch of units. Uh, Japan is, of course, the major problem out of the entire uh, world right now. And as for Britain, I could take Britain. I already have a a stepping stone into Britain as you can see I can just take Northern Ireland over here and just make landfall invasion my favorite location to make landfall invasion actually in uh, Britain basically that being in uh, the city or the town of Plymouth England so I could just head straight into England and just head for London and so on so that is the plan right there guys again this let's play I can't wait to end it I'm definitely gonna finish this let's play by the end of the year and again, I, this was supposed to be uploaded yesterday. Not yesterday, wait a minute, no. That was the other video. It was, uh, I completely forgot. Russia vs. USA Part 2, that was supposed to be uploaded on Friday, but I fell asleep. So I uploaded that yesterday, which is Saturday. But I'm doing this video right now on Saturday, World Annexation. But I'll be uploading this video tomorrow on Sunday. This is basically a pre-recorded part. So it's basically confusion all over right now, guys, I know. <laughs> I'm uploading, I'm uploading a video right now on Saturday, but I'm doing a video right now on Saturday, but this video, World Annexation, will be uploaded on Sunday tomorrow. Yeah, too much shit going on right now, huh? Declare war on East Timer, that is enough of that. Those missiles can't reach me. And I want to let them come in, to me actually. 
And by the way, my money is dwindling down so fast, guys. I don't know what to do. My economy is basically broke. It's happening again. I used to have like 26 trillion dollars. Look what I'm down now to. 17.3 trillion dollars. It's not looking good for my economy. I even uh, checked the increased treasury option. But I don't even know if that's going to work, to be honest. But my economy is dwindling, or my treasury is dwindling. My economy is not so much. I got to fix my money issue. That's the biggest concern right now for me in this let's play. But Australia, uh, the UK, Japan, and New Zealand have positive economies, have a lot of money. They have trillions of dollars. So if I can annex them, that'll definitely boost my uh, treasury up. Hell, my arm's getting itchy. That same mosquito bite from work. It's really bothering me. Jeez, what kind of mosquito was that? All right, so let us head into uh, this timer. Hopefully I don't lose any units from this. As you can see, engineers, obsolete designs, I could take care of. I just want them to uh, send their units towards me. And I want to keep these units as back over here. Just come, guys. Come this way to me. Send everything you've got. And now for the Pacific Island. Let's see what happens here. They don't got nothing in there, right? No naval units, no air support. Looks like it's working. Hopefully I don't run out of ammunition by then. Looks like I'm not, e I'm not even running out of ammunition. Look at that. I have unlimited... That's a cheat right there, man. <laughs> uh, you usually run out of uh, ammunition, fuel and whatnot. But look at this. I'm running out of no ammunition whatsoever. It's staying static. Oh, well. That worked. Oh, there goes the Pacific Islands. So we'll watch that for a separate... Or three, I should say. No, it is four. Think. Yeah, it was four separate islands from the Pacific Islands. You got one, two, three, and then four. So there goes the uh, Pacific Islands. I eliminated them. All right. Last target. Time to list it. Look at those units here. Oh, that's a lot of food for me. Look at all that prey. It's gonna storm in right there, and they're all fleeing now. And it looks like I encircled these guys here. Yep, that's what I want to do. That's what the AI loves to do to me. I'm going to do the AI. Right back at you, buddy. <laughs> I'm sending more units now. But again, these units are not enough for my uh, advanced units. They can't take me head on. And they have, like, from the looks of it, it looks like they have, like, roughly 500 units in total. Compared to only my 100 units. But again, mostly engineers. Not gonna work against my advanced units. I'm destroying them one by one single handedly right now. Oh, those are artillery units. I, I could just storm in right now, but you know what? I'm gonna wait for supplies a bit. Now, storm in. There we go. It looks like they're bringing the other artillery units over there. But that's not enough, guys. That is simply not enough to save your country. I've never annexed or done a versus against East Timer, Timer Leste, ever. I've never annexed them, never did a versus for them. So this is a first for them. <laughs> you guys are on the spotlight. Welcome to it, we'll game. And they just got a few more engineers and that'll be it for uh, East Timer. Go, they just surrendered. Got an oil derrick from them as well. All right, well that's about it, guys. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, guys, I don't know why I keep ending the video, and for some reason after I end the video, I remember something that I have to say, and I really hate doing that. So, uh, again. I know a lot of people, just to, you know, let you guys know that I do have all of your verses listed down. Most of them, 90%, 80 to 90% of your verses listed down. And also the Let's Plays that you guys have requested. I have a lot in my schedule. And of course, you know, I have work to do, you know, I got a job. 
but I will get to your verses. I will get to your let's plays eventually, guys. Even for other games like Hearts of Iron, etc., etc., I will get to them eventually. I've just got a lot to do, guys. And besides, I'm almost done with mostly all these let's plays now. I have so many saves that I'm about to end these let's plays and start new ones. So don't worry, guys. I'll get to them eventually. And speaking of which, one last thing. Again, my patron, if you want to support me on Patreon, it means a lot. But you do get cool exclusive rewards on Patreon. And also, exclusive contests only for Patreon supporters, by the way. I gave away Supreme of the Great War uh, in August to one lucky winner. Congrats to Illinois Mapping. Uh, I'll be giving away a game every month on Patreon. And not just games. It could be games. It could be gift cards. It could, it could be anything else. Who knows? Whatever it could be. But that's only for Patreon supporters. There's also a link below. So I want to thank uh, my Patreon supporters. And also everyone that has just subscribed to my channel. Again, welcome to the World Gaming. It means a lot from all across the globe. You guys can request versus Let's Plays, whatever. And I will get to them eventually. Don't know when. It could be tomorrow. could be next week, next month, even next year. I will get to them eventually, guys. So again, thank you so much for all the support. It means a lot. And finally, that's all I have to say. <laughs> so again, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.